Mercedes Sprinter van? I, I'd give it to you if it was up to me, but you know, I don't have anything to say about it. So, um, I don't have anything to say about what goes on here today either. This is kind of a mysterious deal. So, but we're excited about it, that's for sure. It's been good to you down through the years, hasn't it? Yeah, it sure has. Um, you know, look, th th this is something that's really close to our heart in terms of uh, being able to create some opportunities for uh, young people to maybe have a chance to be more successful in life by some of the things that we do. And the other thing that I think is really special is we try to make it a special point to acknowledge the people who help the kids who maybe never get acknowledged. Uh, you know, the teachers, the caretakers, the people who, you know, really try to help the kids have a better quality of life or whatever the case may be so uh, i certainly appreciate the large group of supporters that we have here who support next kids and uh, this is really a fun day for them and a fun day from us and this is our way of saying thank you for what they do to support our charity you know the subject of a college football commissioner is very intriguing and you've mentioned that before say you retire from coaching whenever if the powers that be came up and said, Nick, we'd like you to be the guy, would you be interested in that job? Yeah, I, I thought that after 10 years that you, everybody would understand that I don't ask, I don't answer hypothetical <laughs> questions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're just trying to sneak one in or like catch me off guard or what? I mean, I got enough problems. I got enough issues to deal with without creating some. But I understand that, you know, you all like to create news, but not today. <laughs> Nick, with Sally Camp kind of getting started and you guys sending some of your staffers to different places, like what have been the kind of early reviews on it and like what, if any value, do you think your program's got from sending you know, guys like Mike Loxley to different camps? Well, you know, we're trying to get guys to cover the camps, uh, but most of our assistant coaches and myself, I'm not going to go to any satellite camps. Uh, you know, we sort of made the decision that it's more important, especially in this time period, because there's only limited time periods in the summertime where we have time to spend with our players. Um, the first couple, three weeks of June, you know, the last couple weeks of July. Um, so we're going we're to invest a little bit more time in that, especially me, because uh, I don't feel like I get to spend enough time around our players. But I'm concerned about our players doing the right things when it comes to being good people and going to school and doing what they're supposed to do academically as you know well as do the things that we can help them with in terms of trying to develop them uh, get ready for the season so th th these are just th th these are our choices you know we just had a camp a high school camp we had a lot of good response in, in, in that camp and had a lot of a lot of players there um, and our camp has never changed so our camp is all about helping young high school players improve and have a better chance to do things well for their team so it's not a, 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 about recruiting it's about you know development of players which is what the old-fashioned camps used to be and i guess i'm still kind of old-fashioned you everybody always seeks out your opinion on topics of college football and you never go out of your way to criticize anyone do you wish jim harbaugh would have come to you privately rather than no, I, 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 look I, I have no beef about jim harbaugh I, I, jim harbaugh is fine with me um, you know, I didn't say anything about him. I, I didn't, um, and I'm not saying anything about him right now. I mean, everybody's got the right to manage their program like they want. Uh, I'm not in any way critical of anything that he's doing or done or said or anything else and don't really care. Um, I'm worried about what we do, what our program does, what our players need to do, what our coaches are doing. Uh, try to, uh, that, that's enough for me. I, I, that's as much as I can handle. I know you grew up like a lot of us watching Muhammad Ali. He'll be uh, uh, honored, remembered tomorrow. Is there anything you've taken from him to maybe share with your players? Oh, yeah, we have, you know, quite a few stories. Uh, you know, I, I said this the other day on the radio, but I still remember. You know, you only remember certain things that happen in your life. So um, Muhammad Ali was a significant event to me because. Um, I worked a lot of days at my dad's service station, but the one I remember is when he was fighting Sonny Liston, and I, I don't know, I probably was 11 years old or something. And um, in those days, they weren't on TV. So we had this huge throng of people about like this all circled around the car with the car doors open and the car radio on, and we listened to the fight. I'll never forget that for some reason, but um, 
I do share a couple things with our players that are Muhammad Ali stories. Uh, you know, he the one is about working and preparing and how he made the statement that I always win the fight somewhere far, far away doing road work or in the gym and never under the lights when the fight actually starts. And uh, the other one is when he got knocked down by uh, Joe Frazier, uh, the reason he got up was he said champions don't belong on the ground. So his pride in finishing, uh, even though he probably maybe didn't have a great chance to win that particular fight, uh, is something that I think the players can relate to. And uh, I, I just think that what a dynamic figure that had such an impact in so many ways on so many things that um, beyond boxing that uh, he'll always be remembered for. Nick, with a lot of head coaches Couple more. now in Division One being the highest paid employees on a university campus, what kind of broader responsibility does that bring with it to the campus as a whole, even beyond just the football team? Well, I've always thought my, regardless of, I don't, I don't think this is relative to finance. You know, I, I think that it's our responsibility and obligation to represent our institution in a first class way. And uh, we are the window, uh, regardless of any of the aforementioned characteristics that you brought up. We are the window that a lot of people look at our institutions at all levels because people are interested in sports. A lot of people in our part of the world are interested in football. Uh, we have a lot of great fans. We have a lot of great alumni and supporters who uh, identify with our university. We we have one of the you know most recognized names in sports, the Crimson Tide, and uh, so I think there's a responsibility and obligation that goes with how you represent that. And um, you know, my college coach and one of my mentors, Don James. <coughs> Uh, always use the word class. Uh, I actually carry around a definition of class and um, we try to do things that way and represent our school that way because I think we have a pretty classy institution. Last one, guys. You know, you said last uh, fall that you, you really loved that team that won the, the championship. Coming out of spring, do you have a, a feeling about th this group or is that a process that's going to take a while? Well, I think it's all work in progress, you know, because if I look at, at last year's team at this time, or coming out of spring practice. Um, it was a work in progress. We, we weren't where we needed to be. Uh, I don't think we were where we needed to be until we lost to Ole Miss. Um, I'm not disappointed at all in the, you know, our team to this point. Um, you know, they've worked hard. Uh, I see leadership starting to emerge. Um, we, we have some real critical positions that uh, need to be filled by some huge losses that uh, are going to be very challenging opportunities for some of our players to um, sort of live up to. So these are all challenges that we have. And uh, as we go through the summer and fall camp, I think, you know, the, some of these things will start to get answered a little more clearly. All Thanks, right? Coach.